Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and I want to talk about how we get clients from YouTube. And this is a topic that I have no problem sharing. Uh, people have asked me, like, if I'm keeping any secrets, and I always joke about business or anything I do. There's really no secrets in any of the processes that I have. That's why I spend so much time. You know, I love educating people. That's the uh, driving force behind this. But yes, I have bills to pay, and someone's got to pay for the studio lights to stay on. So yes, we do book clients off there, and that is part of the lead generation that my company uses is YouTube. But that does not mean I short any of my videos. Like I don't go partway through the video and say, call me and give me money for the rest. That isn't at all how it works. We give, when I create these videos, the entirety of how we do something on there. I walk people through step by step. I even create multiple playlists sometimes to reference um, maybe one piece and then another piece and another piece just so uh, it, depending on which part of the process you're in, whether you wanna start at the beginning or the middle or the end, it's broken down. So my videos cover a broad range of topics. Now there's different ways to create YouTube channels. You can create a lifestyle sharing experience YouTube channel where you ask people to subscribe or you can create a tech channel that solves a problem, which is what I do. If you are a how-to, and I guess you could put me in that category, you look up how to do something, my channel comes up as a result, how to solve that problem, how to set up a particular tech thing that I've covered. And this goes to a lot of other people have, you know, handyman videos, et cetera, et cetera, for building something or creating things. But back to the content here. Um, one of the things that's really important is when you're looking at that is knowing what the channel's about is will drive whether or not you gain a lot of subscribers or you gain a lot of views or you gain a lot of, uh, you know, uh, engaged users. That's why the numbers look like they do. So right now I have 97,000 subscribers, but when it comes to views, 2.4 million views, and this is all over the last 90 days, um, 14,000 subscribers added, 10,000 in revenue generated um, over the ad. This is just directly from the AdSense system in watch time and hours. And when you talk about like reach, how many times my channel came up in search results, 35.3 million, 2.4 million views. This is the number that's interesting is the 876,000 unique viewers. And the reason for that has to do with, you know, people searching for things, not necessarily subscribing to my content. So they search for firewalls, you know, they have like your traffic sources here. Uh, I do a lot of reviews on firewalls, Unify, FreeNAS, et cetera. So you can see your traffic sources and what people were looking for that landed them on my page or landed them as a result, which 75% uh, of them came from Google. No surprise there, Google owns YouTube. Engagement. Uh, it breaks down some of that. What are some of the most viewed videos, top videos, etc. And audience. This is where you can see that the average person watches 2.7 of my videos. Well, this is frequently because I have a lot of videos that cover a similar topic in different ways. Um, that way, if you want to set up this way, you can do it this way. And then I'll reference the other video where there's an alternative way to do something. And so they may watch a couple of my videos. This is the among the 876,000 people. Of that, I kind of like these demographics and people ask how you do international work. Absolutely, we do it. Um, that's because only 38% of that audience comes from the United States. The rest is United Kingdom, Canada, Germany, and uh, so on and so forth. And it's because YouTube has 2 billion users roughly. Uh, I don't know exact number, but right around the 2 billion mark, billion with a B, and there's only 300 million people in the US, and that's not, well, a little over 300 million there. Um, and obviously when you start breaking all this down, that leads to the fact that as many people as do watch my content in the United States, there's just more people elsewhere, so it's distributed out. Um, it breaks down age demographics, etc. But how does that turn into actual bookings? Well, I mentioned in at the top, uh, there's a little button that says hire us on our website. Pretty simple. People wanted to start calling us. And obviously this creates its own challenge because that volume of phone calls uh, is harder to deal with. And people just want to start immediately jump in and start talking about their problem and how um, they like to talk to us. But they, of course, got those pre-questions of how much do you charge? So we, even when people call, we look to organize all this information in a more coherent way. We have a hire us button. It's as simple as that. And if you need to communicate any sense of information to us, we have a encryption key, et cetera. So there's a first step. Hourly rate, that's the other thing people wanna know. What's your hourly rate? So we have a rate of right now in January of 2020, 200 US dollars per hour um, that people can book us at. And we have a minimum booking of just one hour. We keep it pretty simple. We have our hours that you can book us, et cetera. But we haven't got to the booking link yet. Uh, we do have a note on here that I'm charging currently 250 US dollars where people want to book me. This is just me making sure my business can scale properly because if everyone just wanted to book me because they see me in the video, I wouldn't have time to make any more new videos or do any other things besides that. So it is distributed amongst my techs. That is also 
why we have here this form. And for those of you wondering, yes, this is just a Google form that says contact a human at LTS. Really simple. We do this and this fills out a spreadsheet on the back end. The spreadsheet has all kinds of client details in it, so I'm not gonna show the spreadsheet, but if you've ever used uh, Google Sheets, they're wonderful. We're a company that uses G Suite. This allows me and all the technicians to share this spreadsheet so we can all make notes on a spreadsheet when a client comes and contacts us via the form. We decide who's got the expertise to take care of that or how it should be responded to. But we've already answered right up front you know, the question people ask, what's your rate? Because that was a lot of it. And this is, you know, this has been fine tuning over time of wrangling in the volume of traffic that we get down to this. So they fill out their email address, name, company name, phone number, et cetera, reasons they want to hire us. These are the reasons right now. And we do have something that says, um, do something not listed because sometimes people have, you know, different questions. They fill out this information. We evaluate that and we decide which technician would be the ideal person to deal with that, and then we'll contact and reach out to that person to start, you know, start the engagement process. We are using this service here. I have no affiliate link training for it. It's just, you can book me. Uh, it works really well. They charge $10 per calendar per month. I think you get a discount if you prepay or something. Um, but it's a great little booking system uh, that we use. This ties into a payment system, so this is important. We've automated all of this. Uh, when we give people the booking link, they go in, they can choose the time, They are. it references our calendar, they don't get to see our calendar, they just see what time slots are free, and this allows people to book one of my technicians. Now, why we don't directly just have the booking link so they can jump right in is because we try to do some evaluation ahead of time so people don't give us money. Uh, I don't wanna have people give me money unless I think I can solve your problem. If there's no chance of us solving it, we'll just send you a polite, no, this is not something we're uh, within our capabilities of doing. Now we have support services or support IT services. Uh, other than me obscuring the link here, they pick the thing they want. So one hour, $200. They see here, we don't offer Saturday and Sunday bookings. Generally, we can open them up um, and we don't have much booked for next week, but today we only have the one to 130 slots. All we have open today because we're pretty booked up. So they go here and they choose this booking because they want to book then. And because we have multiple technicians available, it's not that we don't have any bookings, it's just that the fact that with multiple technicians, there's a lot of free slots uh, when people do this. Just a little behind the scenes for those that might be wondering. They fill out their first name, last name, email. I tell them they can just put the same thing because we've already contacted them. We tell them just put their name in and put some of the same information um, on there. Then they are gonna book this. Now, by the way, they can't actually complete the booking until they put a credit card in. This is an important step. This is one of those, you have to pay us before you book the slot. That way the slot is reserved for you. And um, I wasn't doing this before and it turned out if people don't pay you ahead of time um, for it or pay you separately and don't commit, uh, it created some confusion. So part of the committing process is committing and putting money involved. Now, sometimes when people contact us because it's a larger business engagement, we don't send them this link. They wanna just pre-buy ours. They're gonna get a completely separate. We'll actually send them a formal invoice voice because we've had company goes, I want to buy 20 hours ahead of time. That's fine. They're not going to get this link. This is the booking link for people that have one off. I just want to start with a small consulting. The reason we do these and reason we offer even these smaller engagements, uh, they frequently lead to bigger ones because not everyone's willing to give you 20 hours pre-bought unless they at least buy some amount of time and see if you are helpful. Uh, this is part of my strategy that I'm being very open about how we do things. So um, this allows us to engage once and sometimes leads to further engagements. Once this is done, uh, this f fills out and books the link. We send them a link and whatever arrangements were made because we've already engaged with them email. They have our remote connection tool, how we're gonna get in. We've talked about that because sometimes people just want us to log in. Sometimes people want us to build something for them. Whatever the things are, sometimes they just wanna talk to us uh, and walk them through a project and review some notes that they sent over. That's actually a frequent thing that we'll have one of my technicians do, like review a network plan. This is also very important for those that want to engage with us is the fact that when they do this, that um, there's not anything done for free because this comes up. Of, I just want an answer on a question. I just want to know which is the best of these two devices to use. To us, that's consulting because we don't really sell product. Product I've always found as a race to zero margin um, because I'm not physically manufacturing a product. Therefore, selling a product doesn't make much sense because people are deal hunting and finding you the best deal on a product is really just outside of what we do right now. Uh, so a lot of it is everything we consider a consulting job. Now, we will do complete projects and buy the product and everything if that's something people are interested in having us turnkey complete conf purchase configure and deploy we do do that but people just wanted to get product advice i'm sorry that is a consulting thing now finally the last piece that we do is forums 
And this is also why we pre-vet people, is some people go, I'm just looking for help on this and I want some free help. And they, even though they've seen the price, they still ask for free help all the time. And no problem, this is what the forums are for. I built this about a year ago. I'm using Discourse, I have a video on it. We host this over in DigitalOcean, just to be clear if anyone's asking. And we get a pretty good number of people. Um, this is the last 30 day look back, about 81 more people joined, 110 topic, 480 posts. And uh, this day was particularly popular with about 4,000 hits to the site with logged in users. 536 people uh, visited that day, 2,846 anonymous, and the crawlers, as in like your uh, search engine crawlers, was 624. And, you know, this leads to a lot of answered questions for people. I we, a lot of times just say, look, post over in the forums because I, you know, I get it. You don't have a lot of money or you don't have the ability to, or you're just getting started out. I spend a lot of times, at least once, sometimes multiple times per day, I go through and answer a lot of questions in the forums. And those questions also are very helpful as answers for other people. Maybe they didn't ask the question the right way, didn't know I had a video on the topic. So someone will ask the question and I'll link them to a video, link them to an answer, or just sometimes explain, no, it doesn't work that way, but that's not a good idea, et cetera. Or sometimes that's a great idea, you just need to change this. And I do this as a service and it also helps because now this knowledge base that we built currently gets in the last 30 days, 58,000 50, yeah, 58, page views. This allows a lot of people to go there, they start typing, it also auto completes. And let me show you what I mean by that. So if we go here to the main page of the forum, when you start creating stuff in our forums and people can start going through and look, it says your topic is similar to, oh, VLANs and PFSense. People wanted to know about this, QoS, et cetera, et cetera. It searches itself and of course, Google indexes this well, hence the crawlers hitting this so frequently and more and more frequently as people do this. This allows you know, me to answer a lot of questions and just be helpful to people. I really want people you know, to be able to engage and learn and learn more about technology. It's a passion of mine sharing all this with people, which includes this part of it too. I don't hide the fact that I'm an actual business who does make money on this because, well, I gotta keep the lights on, like I said. But um, this is our whole process. This is how we book clients. We, we've booked clients big and small, large engagements, small one-off engagements. Sometimes we've even had very, very large companies that uh, one day always ask, uh, that one thing I found about big companies, they frequently ask to be not named, which is fine. Um, but they've consulted with us some very large, like two letter domain and uh, fall into that Fortune 1000 category. And they actually didn't spend a lot of money with me. So as exciting as it is, and I'm smiling, thinking about it's a really cool that, that company called. And the fact that someone very high up at that company was a fan of my videos and I just had a nice conversation with them. Um, and they booked us for a small project they had uh, related to something and the way they wanted it done was us to create something and not actually log into their infrastructure, which is perfectly fine. We did that, we consulted with them and um, helped them deploy something that was really cool. So. This is the whole process, kind of top to bottom, uh, how we do it. There's no secrets on it, using You Can Book Me, using just a Google Calendar. We have found it to be very effective. Um, it's more personal that way. That's why it literally says contact a human at LTS. That is what you're doing. It is reviewed by us. Uh, I don't just spam you with a bunch of automated, click here for my webinar, click and throw money in here. That's why we don't even send you the booking link where you spend money until we know we can help. It's just our part of the process. It's our part of making sure that it's a good relationship um, and we're actually providing value and you're getting something out of it, not just saying hi. Now, if you just wanna throw money at us, perfectly fine. We've got options on our affiliate links. You can just, you know, just throw money at us. I do appreciate people who do that. Uh, I just wanna say thank you. And that is like, you know, it's another revenue source. People throw money at our Patreon. Someone actually sent me a message, they apologized because they couldn't afford the Patreon anymore. And I said, Thank you. I mean, dude, if you can't afford it, forums are great. This is, I, I want people not to have a barrier. This is why my technical videos are as in-depth as they are. I don't want there to be any barrier because people said, well, you should have like a better series that you create paid videos. I'm like, no, 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 I shouldn't because that seems like I create a barrier. And I've actually had some great conversations with people who are far outside the US and other nations that just don't have any type of real budget. And they send me thank you notes or post in the forums. Like, hey, this is very helpful. This helped me solve a problem. And uh, 200 US dollars is quite a bit where I'm from. And this is awesome when I, you know, had people reach out, especially through the forum, say, hey, this was very helpful and helped me solve that problem. This is part of the goal. You know, we can, I can create a lot of content. I can make money and solve people's problems and it can all work and keeping this content free. You, sometimes you do have to watch a little ad on YouTube, but yeah, that's to me a fair enough exchange to get some content. As I know myself, I've watched plenty of videos on YouTube to solve problems. Uh, Cause that's the last thing I'll touch on is 
you know, giving it away? Can you uh, actually give it away and still have people hire you? Yes, uh, trust me, I've watched enough videos on things like plumbing that made me decide to hire a plumber. It uh, turns out not my life skill. Same with building stuff that's like uh, woodworking. Real impressed watching people do it. They make it look easy. Turns out not easy. Something else to hire out. All right, and thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.